To other news now, and women across the country are being hit by shortages of hormone replacement therapy, or HRT. The Welsh Government says supplies of the drug, which is usually used to treat the symptoms of the menopause, are currently disrupted, and no one is able to say why. Maria Waldron said her anxiety she felt because of the menopause would have forced her to leave her job if she hadn't been prescribed HRT. She's been talking to our reporter, Charon preet Kara. I'd be in tears. I'd have to go to the toilet, cry. I felt I couldn't cope. I couldn't remember things. My brain felt foggy. I felt very anxious. I felt very incapable of doing anything. And I was worried that I was actually going quite insane. So I thought, this isn't my normal behaviour. Just months ago, Maria was at breaking point because of the impact the menopause was having on her mental health. Since taking HRT, Maria's felt more like herself. But with supplies dwindling, her future is uncertain. I called them today to check if they had my prescription and they've still not been able to give me an answer or a reason for the shortage. HRT stands for Hormone Replacement Therapy. The hormones in question are usually oestrogen and progesterone, which women lose during the menopause. They treat the symptoms of the menopause, which range from joint pains to anxiety and palpitations. Maria isn't the only one wondering what'll happen if HRT runs out. Helen's been taking it since she was 29. She has a heart condition called microvascular angina and her doctors say it could get worse if she doesn't get her HRT. The first time that there was a problem getting the medicine was in September last year and I was absolutely shocked, devastated and in a total state of panic because I knew that I can't live without it. And what have you noticed since your medicine ran out? I have a lot of heart problems. They give me palpitations, pains as if you're having a heart attack, because my body relies totally on HRT. I don't produce oestrogen naturally. Therefore, I need this to be able to survive. Go on, Jim. Doctors say many people don't recognise the importance of HRT. It's not just about flushes, it's about emotional well-being, it's about levels of depression, all sorts of things that are affected by the change in hormone levels when you go through the menopause. And it really does, it, it's sometimes the difference between people being able to work and enjoy their lives and not. The Welsh Government says it's aware of the problems in the HRT supply chain and is working with the UK Government to fix the problem. But women like Maria and Helen, who can't get vital medication, feel that their voices just aren't being heard. I think all women go through it and I just wish it was addressed properly because um, it isn't really. All women will go through the menopause, not all women will have children, but they'll all go through the menopause. I think it just needs to be treated seriously because I don't personally think that it is. Well, joining me to discuss this in the studio is Dr Charlotte Fleming, who's a consultant gynaecologist and specialist in the menopause. Thank you for coming in. Um, first things first, it seems very unclear why, why this is happening. What are the theories on that? It's all a bit of a mystery. Mm. In some respects, it's a supply shortage. In uh, some companies uh, weren't making it uh, enough or there's been a disruption in their manufacturing process or it hasn't been commercially uh, worth their while making it in particular countries. Um, and, and the mystery is it affects some hormone products and not others, and some companies and not others, and some countries and not others. So nobody really can get to the bottom of it. I think there is a feeling that came across in that, in that report. There's a, very much a frustration that if this maybe was another drug for another illness, it, it would be being talked about more and, and taken more seriously, perhaps. Is that the case, do you think? It probably is the case. Um, HRT is such a muddle for women to get from their GPs in so many ways because there's been needless scandals about it in the past which have subsequently been found to be of, of, of no consequence. And uh, your average GP has only got seven minutes to talk with their patients mm. and HRT isn't the top of their knowledge or, or their agenda. They, mm. and, and women often need a lot longer than that to talk about the multitude of symptoms they get. So they are rather left high and dry. And whilst some products have been uh, withdrawn or, or there's a, sh a temporary shortage of them, uh, no woman needs to be without HRT altogether. There are other things that can be substituted. And most women that I see, I can customise something else for them if their existing 
patches, for example, are not available. So is that the answer? If people are going to their doctors and going to their pharmacies and being told this isn't available, yes. there are alternatives? There, there is are an alternatives. And some, for some people, their pharmacist isn't using the correct distributor. So they, they, they will then come back to me and say, you know, your prescription is not available. So it's always worth asking the pharmacist, is there another pharmacist who might use a different distributor who might be able to get it in? Um, or it's a matter of going back to your GP and saying, I need another, I need another preparation that, 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 that ought to be able to suit me. And do we see this resolving itself anytime soon? We do. Uh, so the patches that are, are very popular and very much in use that ha became unavailable should be available later on this year. Um, and the supply shortages once the different companies who manufacture them have sorted things out amongst themselves and around the world, it ought to be, no woman ought to be able, to, or ought to have to go without her HRT. Not an easy solution, but hopefully um, something will happen in the future quite soon. Thank you very much.